I brought you some fruit for snack time. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, Combo. This looks really yummy. Huh? Why is this apple brown? Oh, no! That's not what it looked like earlier. Sorry, Ryan. It's okay, Combo, but I wonder what's the best way to keep fruits like apples from turning brown. Okay, Ryan. What ideas do you have? Maybe putting fruits in different places will keep it from turning brown. Awesome! I think... Uh, oh, that putting fruit in a liquid will keep it from turning brown. Okay, Combo, let's do some tests. First, you need an apple and ask a grown-up for help to cut it up. Okay, so I asked Daddy to cut the apple in five slices. Five different apple slices, five different places. I'm gonna put this one in the fridge. We're gonna see if the cold will help it from turning brown. Second apple is going outside into the sun. We're gonna see if the heat will help it from turning brown. Next, I'm gonna wrap this apple slice to see if it helps it from turning brown. Next, I'm gonna put this apple slice in the drawer to see if the darkness makes any difference. I'm gonna put this apple slice right here out in the open to see how regular apple turns brown. Out of all the places I put the apples, I think the one I put in the fridge is gonna be the least brown. I hope I'm right. I'll see you tomorrow, bye. Everyone, I'm here doing an experiment with liquids to see if they keep apples from turning brown. And this is my assistant, Bree. Hey, guys. Remember to always ask for an adult's help if you're doing this experiment. All right, let's get started, though. Bree, can you chop up that apple? Of course. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, good chopping skills, Bree. Thank you so much. I've been practicing my chop just for this. I can tell. Before we do anything else, safety first. So Bree, put on your safety glasses. First, we have the control apple. This is the apple we're not gonna do anything to, so we can compare it to all the others. And to start us off, let's go with the vegetable oil. All right. Whoa, <gasps> it's so shiny. Next is yogurt. Oh. That looks chunky and slimy. Ugh. Now it's my favorite, chocolate syrup. This would be so much better if we had ice cream. Ah. Lemon juice. Ooh, that looks sour. Ooh. Maple syrup. Man, I wish I had some pancakes. Oh, that looks delicious. Next is orange juice. This reminds me of breakfast. Congo, I'm starting to think you were hungry when you put this together. Now it's the apple juice. Whoa. Wait, so we're putting apple juice on apples? All right. So now that we've got all our liquids poured in, we just got to wait until tomorrow to see what happens. But before that, which one do you think is going to do the best? I think it's going to be the oil because it's already really shiny and it looks good to me. Ooh, good guess. I'm going with chocolate syrup, cause it's my favorite. So you're ready to come back tomorrow? Yes, let's do this. All right, Bree, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. One day later. Okay, Combo, it's been the next day. Let's compare our results. You got it, Ryan. What are your results? So, this one I left on the counter, and this one I put in the dark, they look almost the same so the darkness doesn't affect it at all. And this is the one I left in the sun, and it's super dried up. And it's also a little bit brown. And this is the little one I put in the wrapper. See, look, it's not even a little bit brown. But the 
best one is the one that I put in the fridge. It's barely brown. Based on the experiment I did, when apples touch air, it turns brown. So the one that I put in the wrap, it doesn't look brown because it was wrapped. And the one I put in the fridge, it wasn't brown because it was cold, not dry. Combo, what was your results? Again, safety first. So Bree's putting on gloves because these apples might be gross. Okay, I've been waiting all night. Are you ready to see the results, Bree? I've been waiting all night. Let's do this. Okay, so let's check out the control apple first. Ah, oh, that one's really brown. Oh, and it's all dried up. Yeah. Now let's check out the vegetable oil one. Oh, Ooh. it's a little slimy. But, you know, this one was my guess, and it looks pretty good. Next up, it's yogurt. It's a little stuck. There we go. Yeah, look at that. It's looking pretty brown. I don't know, yogurt. Let's check out the next one. Now we got my pick, the Ooh. chocolate. Oh, ah, oh, chocolate syrup. That is definitely brown. Chocolate syrup is tasty, but it's not good at keeping apples from turning brown. Let's go on to the next one. Lemon juice. This one looks really good. I don't see any brown. You're right. That one does look really good. We might have a winner here. Ooh, but let's keep going. Let's check out the maple syrup one now. Uh, okay, this one is not looking that good. Very dry. Now let's look at the orange juice. Ooh, now this one has quite a bit of mold growing on it. Ew. Okay. Let's use freshly squeezed orange juice next time. <laughs> this one has some mold on it too, but not as bad as the orange juice. Oh no! It's like what happened to the orange juice. Wow, that was really fun. Even if it was a little gross at times. But which liquid do you think did the best? I think definitely the lemon juice because there was no brown on that apple at all. I agree, my assistant. You guys at home can also try this too. There's so many other liquids and places you can experiment with. And other fruits you can try too. But be sure to ask your parents to help you out. Good finding, Combo. Yay, we did it. We learned how to keep an apple from turning brown. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Huh? What's that noise? Combo? Hey, Ryan. Why is this egg broken? Broken. Broken. My homework was to figure out how to drop an egg without it breaking, but I don't know what to do. Don't give up, Combo. Together, we're gonna learn how to save an egg from breaking. Combo Bunga! And we can each do our own experiment and then come back together with our own results. Okay, let's go. <laughs> hmm, what could save an egg from being broken? Hmm. Tennis balls? Remember, always to ask a grown up for help. Which is me. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me see. What do you want me to do, Ryan? So, Daddy's going to cut open the tennis ball, and then we're going to put an egg inside and see if the tennis ball helps it from breaking. Cutting tennis balls is very difficult, so I always ask grown up for help. I think we got it. Whoa. Look. Wow, that's why it looks like the tennis ball inside the tennis ball. It kind of looks like a puck man. He's eating the egg. Ah, it fits perfect. Okay, guys. Daddy is all the way up there. Hey, guys. And he's going to drop the tennis ball to see if the egg breaks. Go, Daddy! 
All right, here it is, a tennis ball with egg inside. You see it? Ah. And Ryan's down there waiting. You ready, Ryan? Yeah. Here we go, guys. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Ah guys, look, it didn't work. The egg is definitely broken. Oh! That one didn't work. Hmm, I wonder what else there is. I have an idea. We can use a cup and a bag to make a parachute. Let's go. Yay, now Daddy's gonna help me make a parachute for the egg. Yeah, I'm cutting up the uh, cup right now so we can make a place okay. for egg to go in. Yeah. <laughs> and you need some strings. Right. I'm already Whoa. a parachute. Whoa. Now after you put them together, it looks like this. Boom. This is a parachute. And this is the pocket that carries the egg. Alright, put it in, Ryan. Let's okay. see if it works. Boom. Whoa. Oh yeah, it fits perfect. I think it's gonna work. Alright, let's test it out. Whoa. So I'm outside waiting for Ryan to toss out the, uh, the parachute with egg. Let's see if it's gonna work. Hey Ryan! Hi. Hopefully it works, because look, it's harder to clean. Look, look at this big mess. Three, two, one! Alright, let's see! Daddy, did it work? Oh uh, no, it didn't! Look at this! Oh. Aww. Aww. Uh oh. See. Ah. All right, it's okay. We can try oh. it next one. Yeah, let's do it. Hmm. So far, both of my ideas didn't work. Hmm. I wonder where I could get another thing. Maybe in here. <gasps> balloons. Maybe we can use balloons to help the egg from breaking. Let's go. Now let's blow up some balloons. Yeah, just like small like that. Yeah, perfect size. Next, Daddy's gonna wrap all the balloons around the egg. All right. Let's see. Okay. okay make sure you cover. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Ah. Da. Ah. <laughs> broke it already. <laughs> okay, Daddy, here's a new egg. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess accident happened. Mm. So wrap this. Secure, good. All right, give me next balloon. Okay. This is a good start, but now let's put more balloons. All right, next time we need a bigger balloon. Now we have big balloons. We're gonna take this side to this side of the egg, and we're gonna take the other one to this side. Ah, looks like it's gonna work, Ryan. Yeah. And this time we're done. Looking I good. It's gonna work. Yeah. All right, let's go upstairs and test it out. Ooh. Okay, guys, I'm on the balcony. I'm ready to test it out. Daddy, are you ready? Alright, Ryan, you can drop it now. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. No way. No way, I think it worked. What is it? It didn't break! It didn't break? Wow, we did it, guys! Whoa! Pumbo, I found a way for the egg drop test to work! But just to make sure, let's open it up. Look, Pombo, it worked! The balloon saved the egg from breaking! Did you get yours to work? Yeah, okay, Combo Crew! 
Now it's time for me to do my experiment. And I got my assistant, Bree, here. Hey, guys. Make sure to always get adult supervision when you're doing these experiments. All right, so first up is egg plus bubble wrap. Egg plus bubble wrap equals safe egg. All my headsets that I order online come wrapped in bubble wrap, and they're always perfect. So I think they're going to do a great job at protecting these eggs. I don't know, Combo. This bubble wrap seems a little bit on the small Ooh, side. Oh, we'll see. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Time is going fast, and we're done. Yay! And now is egg plus straws. We got our nice straws there, all colorful. Cutting up our duct tape. Then we tape our straws together to make like a, a nice uh, egg protecting machine. So it should protect the eggs perfectly. Whoa, check that out. Combo bunga that looks so cool. But I wonder if it'll work. I guess let's move on to the next one. And last we have egg plus sponges. First we gotta outline where we're gonna put our egg. And then we take the scissors and be careful as you cut a hole for your egg. Okay, we got one down. Now let's get the other one. Hopefully I think these two can work together to protect this egg. Hey, we got an egg sponge sandwich. <laughs> the sponge sandwich looks really cool. Which one do you think's gonna work though? My money is on the bubble wrap. I think it's gonna be the sponge. This has the most cushion around it. Well, there's only one way to find out. To the park! Let's do it. Whee! All right, hey everyone, we made it to the park. Combo, are you ready for the drop? I'm so ready. Now Bree, let's start with the bubble wrap. Oh, but first, safety goggles. All right, first up is the bubble wrap. Yeah, let's go. Three, two, one. Ooh. All right, let's check out this egg. Okay, let's see. Combo, I'm not sure your guess did so well. It feels a little flat. Oh, no. Ooh, it's not looking so good. Oh, Ugh. Maggie. It's all broken up and stuff. On to the next one. Okay, here comes the sticks in three, two, one. Slow motion falling. Whoa, did you see that? It exploded. Yeah, it's not looking so good, Combo. I don't, I don't think this one made it. Well, I just hope the next one works out better. Moving on to the sponge. So this is our last one, and it's my guess it has to work. It's orange, I'm orange. What could go wrong? Are you ready, Combo? Toss that sponge. All right, three, three two, two, one. Whoa, I saw it bounce. <gasps> it sounds really good. Let's see how it did, Combo. All right, let's see. <gasps> Whoa. Wow, it worked, Combo. Look at that. Way to go, Eggie. Yay, we saved Eggie. Okay, so we got our results. Now let's go to the lab and take a look. Let's go. Let's go. So first up, we had the bubble wrap. Now it looked like it worked really well, but when we opened it up, ugh, it broke into a whole bunch of pieces. Yeah, that one got really messy. That's a no. Ooh, then we had straws. Now when this dropped, we could tell it didn't work at all. Yeah, that one was super messy. It's a no from me. Well, the last one was my guess. Not saying I'm right, Combo, but I was right. It was the sponges, and look, it worked so good, we still have the egg. All right, he sure is the winner. And this was a great experiment, wasn't it, Bree? It really was. It was so much fun. Combo crew, remember that we did this experiment with a bunch of household items. So you can do this too if you want to. But make sure you got parent supervision. Yeah, that's so cool. I had so much fun doing an experiment with you, Combo. Bye. Remember, always say happy and rise up. Bye. Okay, rise up. What's that smell? What? Why is this bread like 
like this. Ew. Combo? Ryan, I don't know what happened. I just left my bread out for a few weeks, and now it looks like that. Combo, this is definitely not safe to eat. I think you should throw this away. Good idea, Ryan. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how bread gets moldy. I got an idea. I'm going to put bread in different places, and then we can see which one's the most moldiest and the least moldiest. Good idea, Ryan. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. First, ask a grown-up for help. My grown-up for help is Mommy. Say hi, Mommy. Hi. <laughs> so first, you add a little bit of water on your bread. Here. Next, put your bread into a Ziploc bag and then seal it super, super tight. The first place I'm going to put it in is the fridge. Then you do the same thing, add some water, and the second place I'm gonna put it is outside! Super tight. This bread is staying outside in the sun. Bye bye bread, I'm gonna check on you later. Third place is going to be in the dark. Ah! Bradity, Bradity, I hope you're not scared of the dark, Mr. Bradity. Yeah! <laughs> Nothing ever happened. My next bread is control. We're going to keep it on the counter. Now tell the people around your house, do not eat the experiment because mold will grow on it. If different locations create mold on bread, I'm gonna see if different fluids create mold on bread. That's right. So we searched all over the house and we were able to find some bread, some oil, some salt, and some sugar. All right, this experiment's gonna rock. Oh, but always make sure you got an adult combo crew. So first, we're gonna take the salt and put it on the bread. Here comes the salt combo. Look, wait a second. We gotta put our goggles on first. Great idea, combo. Safety first. Now let's start with the salt. Ready? That's a lot of salt, combo. Yeah, uh, that's not going to work. Ooh, I know. Let's add water. All right, now we have salt water. We're just like the ocean. Salty bread is done. Next, we're gonna take the oil and put that on the bread. All right, so let's see. Oh, this is really heavy. Whoa. Ugh, oily. Ooh. And oil is done. And finally, we're gonna put the sugar on the bread. So we already have water, so now let's add sugar. Whoa. That looks super sweet. Sugar water! This one's my favorite! Sugar water bread is done! And let's see if, ooh, we can get the soggy bread into the bag. <gasps> Perfect! Look at that! And next, we're gonna put water on bread. 
All right, Bree, fresh water straight from the sink. Oh, that's a great idea. And I mean, we just got this out of the kitchen sink, so how easy is that? Ugh, soggy bread doesn't look very good. Super soggy. All right, let's see if we can get this really soggy piece of bread in this bag in one piece. Ugh, ew, it's so soggy. <gasps> we did it! Oh, that looks perfect. You know what else we need, Combo? What's that, Brie? A piece of bread we don't do anything to. Oh, yeah, the controlled bread. And now we only have to wait a week. See you later, Brie. Bye, Combo. A couple weeks later. OK, Combo, I think it's time to compare bread results. How did yours do? Combo, what happened to all of our bread? I don't know! We're gonna have to check the security footage! Aww. Happen. A raccoon was just hungry and ate all of our bread. It's okay anyway, that was old bread. Bree, you got safety goggles and gloves on now. I do, that's right. We don't know if this mold is dangerous or not, so it's better to be safe. Now, this was just the regular bread. It didn't have anything on it, and it doesn't seem to have any mold at all. <gasps> Wait a second, there's feet print on this bread. So the raccoon didn't eat it, he just stepped on it? Next one. Let's check out the sugar bread. Well, what's left of the sugar bread? There's not very much. Apparently, this raccoon really had a sweet tooth, but it does look like there's some mold in the bag, so I think that the sugar water definitely molded the bread. But what about the salt bread, Bree? It looks like the raccoon really liked this one too, but from the looks of the bread that we have left, it doesn't look very moldy. Okay, so how about the oily one? How'd that one do? Well, Combo, let's see. Ooh, okay, this one looks really gross. It's got all different colors of mold. It looks like some black and some green and some white mold. I don't know what that is, but I'm really glad that I have gloves on for this. Ooh. Oh no, ew, what happened to that piece of bread? Oh, this one? This is our bread with water on it. <laughs> Oh, gross! That's so nasty! It is really gross, actually. It is so gross, the raccoon didn't even want to eat it. Ugh. Man, I can't even tell which one did the worst. But the raccoons didn't even eat the one with the water, so it must have been that. That means it's inconclusive, Combo. And don't forget to do this project with the help of an adult. That's right, make sure you ask an adult because we don't know if this stuff is dangerous or not, so it is best to be plenty safe. Use lots of safety, and when you're finished, make sure you clean up really, really well. You wanna look at my results combo? Hold on, Bree. Ryan sent us his moldy bread! Oh, Bree, check out that bread! It's a good thing we're here in the lab. It is a really good thing that Ryan asked us to look at the results because this bread is really, really gross and it might be dangerous. Okay, well let's see which one of his did the worst. And, ugh, I already see one that looks super bad. Okay, so let's start with the one that Ryan put in the fridge. This bread looks perfect. All right, now the one that was outside, uh, not so good. It definitely has some stuff growing right here in the center. Lots of stuff. The one that was in the dark, this one's scary. Ooh. Look at all those colors. I don't even know what all is growing on this thing. Ugh, okay, we'll just put that down. Now the control bread, this one doesn't look so good either. It has all sorts of mold growing on it. Ew, that bread is super moldy. I think that this experiment definitely shows the fridge is the way to go. Yeah, and out of what was left over from my experiment, the salty one did the best. Well, everyone, that's it for our moldy bread experiment. And remember, you can try this at home too. Bye! 
Thank you, Combo. I learned a lot about how to keep bread not moldy. Bye. Thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Hopefully you learn too. Bye.